Okay, so to cut down time, since you guys have seen me do this process in almost every single video, I have already applied my primer, my foundation, my concealer, and now I am baking. Um, all baking does is make your makeup not move, it will not crease, it will not melt, it'll be sweat resistant. I mean, honey, your wherever you bake is going to stay until you take it off. I love baking because my makeup personally tends to break up right around my nose and cheek area and especially on my chin. I like to bake those areas so that they will not break up or crease or melt or move at all. So now that we've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit. I'm gonna start by doing my brows real quick. And as usual, I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Soft Brown. And as usual, I just go at the bottom of the brow, go all the way across until you reach the tail of your brow or wherever you want it to end. And then go on the top do the same exact thing all the way to the tail and then just fill it in easy peasy I don't have your typical like Instagram brows but this, this is just what I like to do I don't like it too harsh or too minimal kind of like a little balance so if that's what you're looking for then this is a really good technique just bottom top fill in brush you're good to go and today I am going to run a little bit of brow gel through my brows it's just a clear brow gel it's a no name I got it with my makeup kit when I went through schooling but honestly any brow gel will work you can get them tinted and clear clear just works fine for me I'm not really trying to add any color but brow gel all it's gonna do it's just like hairspray for your brows it just keeps them in place all day now moving on to our eyes I'm gonna go ahead and add some eyeshadow primer this is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eye primer just gonna add that all the way from the eyelids up to right under our brow and this is just going to help prolong the wear of our eyeshadows it'll help them go on smoother blend better appear more pigmented so you don't have to keep layering to get the pigment that you see in your eyeshadow eyeshadow primer helps it really show up as pigmented as it is it makes it waterproof sweat resistant humidity resistant helps keep it from creasing etc etc it's just an all-around great product to have you can find eyeshadow primers anywhere I just I really like the Smashbox one but you go ahead and find one and figure out which one you like best and okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and brush away our baking powder I'm going to go in with my Sigma E25 blending brush and taking my Lorac Pro palette taupe this really light brown color and just placing that in the outer corner and into the crease. From that same palette, I'm going to go in with Mauve right here. And now I'm going to take my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. I'm gonna take Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie, which is this color right here, and I'm just gonna blend the top edges. Take a smaller brush, it's just a fluffy eyeshadow brush, so I can get a little more precise into the crease and outer corner. I'm gonna go in with Cuter right here, And blend. I'm taking some of that white from that same palette, it's literally called white, and just putting that on the brow bone to highlight it. And it causes a lifting effect to the eye, just like when we highlight the face, it lifts a little bit. So we're gonna do the same thing to the brow. I'm gonna go ahead and get this cream shade. 
So we just used the white. Now we're gonna tap into cream and put that on the remaining spaces of our lid. Melt everything together by just blending a little bit into the edges of the other shadows. Color Nude, which is just a little bit shimmery. We are back with both eyes and now I'm going to go in with eyeliner. So for liner, as usual, I'm using MAC's Fluid Line Gel Liner in the color Black Track. And I am using my Sigma E65 brush. Curl your lashes. I'm using the Benefit Their Real Mascara in black. And I like to wiggle the mascara wand when I'm applying just so that it really coats every hair and helps separate them and fan them out a little bit better. Alright, so we're going to leave the eyes a little bit and come back to the face. We're going to bronze and we're going to be using Benefit's Hula Bronzer, of course. My Morphe E3 brush. This is the only brush I love to bronze with. It does the job. It blends it out beautifully because of all the tapering of it and it's just, it looks so airbrushed. I love it. Face Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and I'm going to use that to contour using my NARS Eda brush. This will never change when it comes to contouring, at least I don't think so. <laughs> and you can tell already we've changed the shape of our face just with using lighter and darker colors. That's it. And then we are going to add highlight. For that, I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. And to apply it, I am going to use Real Techniques Contour Brush. My favorite right now, the Tarte Blush Palette. And I'm gonna be using the two middle shades. Using the Morphe E4 brush, love this brush for blush. It's gonna be the easiest brush you ever use to apply your brush with. Blush with. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and apply Conic Lashes by House of Lashes. I'm gonna use their lash adhesive as well. And again, to best apply my false lashes, I use my tweezers and put them right in the center of the lash or where I want the center of my lash to be. And then I just line it up directly with my pupil and you'll get it right every time. <laughs> Now for the lower lash line, I am going to just put the same colors we put on the top of our lids onto the bottom. So I'm going to go in with taupe, pewter, and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush, tap into that peach smoothie, and blend it out. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye, and then we'll come back. Go in with a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. For the waterline, just right here on above the lower lashes, I am going to use NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk. For my lips, I'm going to use a Sonia Kashuk Lip Pencil in the color Petal. And then I'm going to go over top of that with one of my new favorite lipsticks now which you would have seen in my last tutorial. It is Bite Beauty's Lipstick in Honeycomb. And there we have it. Whipped in my contacts real quick. They're the Desio Icy Blue Contacts and they are prescription, so it's not just for decoration. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like it and for me this is, for some people this is really glam and I understand that but for me as someone who was constantly playing with makeup and different techniques and different intensities this is a pretty 
natural glam. It's not too minimal, it's not too much. So for me, this is glamming it down. <laughs> for you, it might be total glam, and I understand that, everybody's different. This eye look in general can go with any lipstick, which is why I love it. So you can pair any kind of lip with this look and make it more drastic or make it more natural. So this eye is very versatile. And of course you can change up the colors, but the technique is the same. So I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!